Hello everyone, in this particular lecture we are going to learn about how to create a custom countdown timer in JavaScript. So, it is one of the most uh, typical project because it requires a lot of understanding and uh, lots of logic. So, if you are at a very beginner level, this can give you a very great understanding of JavaScript, right? So, I have all the code written. Let's start and understand that how it works. So, on the beginning, uh, I will start with the HTML part. So, here you can see I'm having a heading and then I'm having a div which is an input section, right? So, ID is also input section. Inside of this, I'm having an input and a button. Right, the input is of the type date time local. Uh, what is this date time local? Let me show you. You can see this kind of input. Right, when I click on it, I get all the uh, field where I can select the date and also the time also, as you can see. Right, so this is the input field which we are going to use for it. You can uh, note it that it is date time local. There's a dash between them. Right, and we give the ID to this particular input as the target time. After that, we are all having a button. Uh, when we click on this particular button, a function get called that is a start countdown. We will dis discuss about it later, right? And the content of button is a start. Now coming down, it is having that uh, uh, div whose ID is countdown. It will show the timer of the countdown, right? Yeah. So this is the main uh, HTML part. We are also having some CSS. You can uh, see it, and if you want to copy it, you can copy. It is a basic CSS. Nothing great is present here right so yeah, i'm just f uh, switching to the javascript directly now let's start understanding that uh, what is javascript behind it right what is the logic so initially we are defining a variable that is time interval and then here is the function that is start countdown which was attached with this particular button right when we click on this button this start countdown function starts and that's what we have written the function start countdown inside of it first of all we are having clear interval time interval which is clearing any previous time interval or the countdown right uh, yeah so coming forward const input we are actually taking this particular uh, you can see this input field right so we are selecting this input field with the help of document dot get element by id here's the id target time and we are taking out the value that user had made inside of it right so yeah uh, and after that if there's no input and you just click on this particular countdown button sorry start countdown button right so in that particular case if there's no input it will transfer an alert that is please select a date and time and will return back right if you have selected in that particular case it cons target date equals to first of all uh, we are setting a variable that is a new date and inside of it we are putting this particular input that the value which you have given and we are taking out the time right so based on the date which you have given we are taking out the time from it and then we are having a function that is the update countdown in the update countdown function we are having basically two different uh, lines as you can see here first of all we are getting that date and the time of today right that's why we have written const now equals to new date dot get time after that we are calculating the distance between the target date that you have selected and versus the current date so that is target date minus now right so if distance is less than or equals to zero right if distance is less than means uh, you have selected some previous date than today in that particular case right document dot get element by id it will say times up right and it will clear the interval right so yeah and it will return back and these are the calculation which are required as you can see here sorry yeah so these are the calculation basically on the basis of the distance you that you have given we took out the days the hours the minute the second you can see the calculation and the, all the numerical values that are used right so this is how we do it this is basically in the form of millisecond right 24 hours uh, 60 minutes 60 second and 1000 millisecond in every day so this is how we are calculating the days similarly the hours minute and second i hope you get it till now now then in the final round we are actually putting that means we are selecting this particular countdown with the help of dome that is present here right and then what we are doing we are putting the text content as in this form right the day and hours and minutes you calculated we are using the template literal right and inside of it we are writing it like this got it now after that uh, when you have your function get ready we are calling the function you can see update countdown right and then uh, time interval equals to set interval 
अपडेट काउंट डाउन इन एवरी वन थाउजेंड मिली सेकेंड दैट इज वन सेकेंड राइट सो बेसिकली एट एवरी वन सेकेंड दिस पार्टिकुलर अपडेट काउंट डाउन फंक्शन इज बीन कॉल्ड राइट सो या दिस इज हाउ आवर होल लॉजिक इज बीन बिल्ट यू कैन सी इट कॉपी इट और यू कैन वॉच द एक्सप्लेनेशन अगेन इफ यू डेंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग राइट सो लेट्स जस्ट सी दैट हाउ इट इज वर्किंग सो या दिस इज द कोड सॉरी दिस इज द इंटरफेस एंड यू कैन सी यू कैन सेलेक्ट द डेट लाइक टूडे इज ट्वेंटी एट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ट्वेंटी लेट्स सेलेक्ट ट्वेंटी एट ओनली नो लेट्स सेलेक्ट द ट्वेंटी नाइन इट्स ट्वेल्व ए एम इन द नाइट दैट्स वाई सो इट्स ट्वेंटी नाइन टूडे एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट वन एंड वन आर एंड फिफ्टीन मिनट लाइक दिस यू कैन सी दैट थिंग्स आर गेटिंग अपडेटेड ऑन द टॉप राइट एंड या यू हैव सेलेक्टेड नाउ वेन यू क्लिक ऑन द स्टार्ट it has calculated and has shown me that there is just 1 hour 1 minute and 45 second are left to your target time right this is the target time if i select some other day like 30 and yeah this just 30 in that particular case if i start you can see it has put one day 1 hour 1 minute and 31 second is required to be on 30th of june 1 and 1 am right and 15 minutes right so yeah this is how we can create our custom countdown timer i hope you understood the concept if you do then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching goodbye